My name's Caroline and this is Fjord. I've worked over 10 years in ski patrol rescue and also as a search and rescue dog handler with the French Fire Brigade Mountain Rescue Unit. Passionate about my profession in the mountains, this brings me, accompanied by Fjord, my flat-coated retriever, to make this film. Our aim is to help youngsters stay safe in the winter resorts around the world and enjoy to the full their mountain experience. Fjord has only one desire. When he goes out to work, is to find his favorite toy because he thinks this toy will always be hidden with a person under the snow. However, accidents can be avoided with the right education. So, let's follow Fjord around the resort and try to discover what you need to know to remain safe on those slopes. Remember the essentials, sun cream, eye protection, helmet and glove or mittens. Make sure you've eaten well and have water and a snack with you. The mountain environment and snow sports dehydrate and sap your energy. So you need to keep on top of this in order for you to enjoy each day to the full. Another very important point, you need to know where you're going and find a suitable slope for your level. Look at the information boards at the bottom of the lifts and pop a peace map in your pocket to help orientate yourself when out on the slopes. It depends what type of lift you take, but on all lifts, you should try to stay calm and not move around too much. Chair lifts operate high up, so it's best not to fidget. Sit as still as possible and put any backpacks on your knees. And take in the view from up high. Don't open the guardrail until you see the sign at the top of the lift helping to remind you. Before you even slide off, it's advisable to warm up your limbs so your body is ready to take on the physical effort it's about to encounter. Once ready, before sliding onto the slope, Look up the hill to make sure you're not cutting into anyone's path. Remember, you're not alone on the slopes. All the signs on the slopes are there for your safety. So, read them carefully and respect what is written. The majority are a bright orange colour, which progresses to yellow and black when there is a real danger. Watch carefully and see how many you can find. If you need to take a breather, take it on the side of the slope, not in the middle. Plant skis and across, a couple of metres above the injured person. This will protect them and also indicate to the ski patrol there is an accident. Don't move them, cover them with a jacket if possible. Please don't feed or water them and alert the resort staff. Take note of the exact location where you find yourself, looking for the name and number on the slope marker. venture off piste, you need to have a competent level in either skiing or snowboarding. Always check out the avalanche risk 
Around the resorts, you'll find the latest information or ask the ski patrol for an update. In all situations, never go alone. You need to be appropriately equipped with an avalanche beacon, shovel and probe. And more importantly, you and those you ski with need to know how to use this life-saving equipment. Even experienced skiers get caught out. If there is a choice to be made between buying an action camera for your helmet or an avalanche beacon, choose the one that can save your life in an avalanche. The former will just film your mistakes. Ultimately, if you have a doubt, don't be scared to turn back. Renouncing is a lot braver than putting yourself and others in danger. All avalanche dogs live to work, but we as dog handlers would prefer that you make the right decision so you don't need our services. The mountain is an incredibly beautiful place, but unforgiving when she unlashes the white monster of an avalanche.